925, welcome back. We got Jackie here, and this has just been such a fun day with Jumpstart. <laughs> Great so stories. many random Great funny stories. stories. Absolutely. Well, now we're talking about fast food. It's right. a situation at Taco Bell. Have you guys ever gotten a meal that looks totally different than the promotional image? It happens. For sure. Yeah, it happens. yeah. I mean, For you sure. see it on TV, and you're like, I got to have that. Right. And then you get in person, and you're like, I don't know. <laughs> so the question is, where's the beef? That's what one New York man is asking. In a proposed class action lawsuit filed yesterday, Yesterday, claiming that Taco's Bell ad, Taco Bell's advertising was deceptive. So the filing is just full of photos showing the, well, lack of filling. So that's the promotional shot for the Crunchwrap Supreme compared to the actual mm -hmm. Crunchwrap Supreme that this Looks customer, sad. Frank Siragusa, <laughs> allegedly received. Same, of course, goes for the Grande Crunchwrap, the Vegan Crunchwrap, and the Mexican Pizza, Siragusa claims, have about half the beef or beans as advertised. So what are he and his lawyers actually hoping to get out of this. Well, at least $5 million for Taco Bell customers in New York who have eaten at least five items listed in that lawsuit within the last three years. You think they get it? Uh, I mean, I know you can file a lawsuit for almost anything, but I want to know the attorney that actually agreed <laughs> that to agreed. file this lawsuit. And then, so this is like yeah. they're getting in different plaintiffs here. So he's going to share the $5 million, which well, is interesting. It's a proposed class action. So he's like the original person, and then they're hoping to get more people yeah. to, to add on to it. Save so your we'll receipts see what always, I guess. It looks yeah. sad, but I don't know if you got a $5 million lawsuit on a couple dollar I... Crunchwrap Supreme. But he'll be <laughs> laughing question. at all of us <laughs> if he wins. Exactly. <laughs> Good question. All right. Well, it's not often that a zoo is on the defensive from claims that their animals are actually humans dressed in costumes, but that's the case for a zoo in eastern China. So in question are the sun bears, which are the world's <laughs> smallest bear species. Video circulating here uh, and online shows a sun bear standing on its hind legs and appearing, some say, very human-like. The bear's fur appears loose and wrinkled in places, almost like an ill-fitting <laughs> bear suit. Of course, the zoo is denying this, saying that people just don't understand Understand sun bear behavior. Wow. It looks Thank like you. a bear suit to me. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not what do sold we know? Yet. <laughs>